event handling in AEM. I'll talk about the different API and framework available to handle event or event handling in AEM. This tutorial is important for a basic understanding of event handling in AEM as well as for interview questions. Broadly, you can categorize event handling API in framework in two different categories. One is JCR based event handling and one is resource based event handling. So this categorization is based on the type of event these API are listening to rather than the uh, handlers and what kind of task you are performing in handler. So this categorization is based on the type of event these API are listening to. For example, JCR related JCR based event handling APIs, you can listen for the event which are due to the operation performed on node. Basically, when you update any node, add, remove, modify any node, those kind of event you can listen to using JCR based API. So all the tasks are performed using the Java content repository API. Those kind of events you can listen using JCR based event handling API. For example, create, modify, add node, add, modify, remove properties and persistence. So these kind of uh, events you can listen for J using JCR based event handling APIs. Using resource based event handling API, you can listen to what you were listening using JCR based event handling. But apart from that, there are few more events which you can listen directly using these APIs. Please consider this word directly. For example, you can listen if you publish any page or publish any content, you can listen that event directly using resource based API, but that you cannot do using JCR based API. There are few hacks by which you can do it, but because this is a basic tutorial, I'll not talk about that. So apart from what you were listening using JCR based event handling APIs, using resource based API, you can listen for more type of event directly like what operation you perform on resources right those events you can listen for using resource based api so now this resource based api are of two type one is osgi based api another one is sling based api so these two can listen for your different different events now let's understand the framework and api available all so one is JCR based API, which is basically where you use observation manager and event listener to listen for these events. Another one is OSGI related API, where you use event handler to listen for those events. Another one is sling based API, it's basically now where you observe for resource change listener. But in these three APIs or framework, there is no guarantee of execution suppose you, you listen for event and your event handler will trigger but there's a no guarantee of execution of that event handler means let's say uh, your event handler listen for some event and it triggered the event handler your task started execution but in between if your am instances went down so when you resume your AM instance there's a no guarantee of completion of that event or there is a no guarantee of resume of that you know operation to get guarantee of execution there is a one more api called job manager and job consumer these apis will give a guarantee of execution at least once or at least they give the status what was the status but in above three apis there is no information available what happened to that handler or what happened to that execution but in the fourth one Either it will execute at least once and it will give a at least you the status what happened whether it's a completed cancelled failed whatever the status is suppose uh, as, as I said your your execution was happening means your event triggered and in between your instances went down but when you resume your instance when your instance will up using the fourth API either your operation will be resumed or it will give you a status what happened to that event handler means the execution GCR APIs GCR event handling APIs applied on workspace and they use observation manager to register your event handler and these event listener are notified asynchronously means suppose at the same time your four event trigger exactly on the same time so which one will notify which one will notify first to this event uh, you know listener or handler that is asynchronously when they uh, trigger at the same time and again whatever the session you are using 
is based on the permissions. So if your session or the user you use to get session, if that has permission to that you know node or content where this event triggered, only then it will be notified. Otherwise, it will not notify it and your event handler will not trigger. So this is the pseudocode. Right, where we you first we get the session and we'll get the session using Sling repository. You will be seeing here login service. I'm using the same service user which I explained in my previous tutorials. The another one is null. What do you mean by null? Basically, if you define null here, that means it is showing the default workspace. If you if you want to listen these events for a particular workspace, then you have to give the workspace ID. Once you get have session. From that session you will get the workspace means default workspace then you will get observation manager and then you will add your event listener inside that method you will be defining different different you know parameter at what event you want to listen what is the path you want to listen and few different other parameters i'll explain this in detail once will i will cover this event handling gcr event handling api in a separate tutorial once this listener or the event handler is added now you have to write a handler for this and the handler is on event this is standard a event iterator object is passed to this handler where you can iterate this event iterator and you will get all the required information whatever you need and you can perform your task inside this event handler so basically here this event here you will be defining of what kind of event you this event listener will register like for node uh, node uh, added property added or they are the different we'll talk about these in a specific tutorial osgi related event api because this event handler is registered with the service framework and notified with event object you will understand that event handler can receive the event object in event handler and the determine like what the required data is basically uh, every event handler or whatever you write there's something you need to mention like for what kind of event it will listen like in previous we were adding like event added node added property added here there's a property called uh, event topic in event topic you will be defining what kind of event this listener will listen to okay and this will be added in annotation and again you can define a filter as well on which a particular path the event uh, handler will listen to okay so this is the pseudocode if you are seeing here in at the rate component i'm defining property and inside property i'm defining constant dot event topic and event topic i'm you know adding this resource added change or modified is also there you can add you know variables as well here but i'm just directly adding these values in event filter you will be seeing here i'm defining what is the path at which this event handler will listen to this event topic is basically responsible for listening the you know defining the type of event it will listen to once this is done now you have to write an event handler as i said in event handler there is an event object which is passed using this event object you can get all the required information whatever you need and you can write your operation code whatever you want to perform inside this event handler for sling related apis of event handling you have to implement resource change listener and this resource change listener in handler it will give a list of resource change objects in this type of event handler you have to define the path and changes so basically path are on which this event handler will listen to like we added filter in earlier api and changes are what kind of events you want to listen uh, for this event handler so this is the pseudocode you will be seeing here in the same at the rate component annotation i'm adding the path basically this will execute or this will listen under this path and then i'm defining what kind of event uh, this can be defined under for the changes as I mentioned earlier so uh, this this event handler will listen for add remove or change kind of events on under this path okay and you have to write a handler as well so the handler name is on change and I said it will pass means your uh, listener will pass a list of resource change objects where you can iterate this list and you can get the required information whatever you need and you can perform your task what you want to perform based on listening this event 
as I said, all these previous three APIs does not have guarantee of execution. Basically, these are work on the principle, just trigger and forget about it. Okay. But in some cases, you need a guarantee of execution. For that, you will write another Sling API is available called Job Manager and Job Consumer. Using Job Manager, you will create your specific job. You will create a custom topic here, right? If you remember in OSGI related uh, APIs, we were, you know, adding topics which defining for what kind of event it will listen. So it's a combination of OSGI APIs and Sling APIs. Using job manager, we will create a job and then uh, we will write a job consumer basically which will consume this job. And this is also used for offloading as well. Your main, suppose your main uh, class will trigger that event and then offload to job consumer which will be keep, you know, working as, you know, as a separate task. So this is the pseudocode of job manager. You will be seeing I'm using the same OSG API to trigger this using event.topic. But there is a difference. You will be seeing here. I'm now I'm using job manager and using job manager in handle event. Uh, I can create a map, right? This using this map, I can pass on whatever the information is required for that consumer. Once you add all the information, you can create a job using job manager dot add job and this whatever I write here this is my custom topic I'll use this topic to find the job means consumer and this basically the map which has all the information for that job so this is the job creator using job manager once you write a job consumer you will be seeing I implementing job consumer and this property dot topic this is the topic what I gave in my job manager while creating job Right now you have a handler called process and inside that this job object is available whatever you create inside this and this this job creator will have this map you will be seeing here this map from that job you get this path and event whatever I passed here here so here it will be available and it once this the finish it will give you the status of what was the status because this handler is returning that status so what happened uh, in abo 3 there is no guarantee but for this am store the information in node in etc work i'll show you when i'll cover this in detail where the all the information is stored if your am instance is went down or something happened so once your instance is resumed it will read that information and take a appropriate action either resume or give at least a status I hope you understood this different API and framework available in AEM for event handling. This was the basic of event handling in AEM. Whatever I'll cover, I cover in this four type of APIs, I'll cover this each in a different separate tutorial in detail with demo. If you have any question, please do comment. Thank you.